Hey everyone, Dave here. I finally get to bring you a new EPOS wireless headset. It's been a while since they've released anything new. So meet the new EPOS Impact 1000. This is a Bluetooth wireless headset that actually has a feature called Super Wideband Audio, which allows better performance on the speakers and the microphone, which we are gonna test out thoroughly later in this video. So stay tuned for that. What's interesting is that ePost decided to make a lot of different options available for the Impact 1000. You can choose to wear it over the head with a single speaker, or you can choose the dual speaker option that's worn over the head and also is able to be used with the wireless charging stand like you see here. And what's interesting is that it has a wireless charger at the top of the headband, and that makes it an easy place to not only recharge your headset, but also store the headset. And then you also have the option Option to choose whether or not you want active noise cancellation or not. It's like choosing your favorite toppings at your local frozen yogurt store. Maybe you like Reese's on your ice cream like me. No? Well, you get the base model for about $200, which includes the headset by itself, but then you can add about $50 more active noise cancellation, which blocks out people's noises around you so you can concentrate better. Then for about $30 more, you can get the wireless charging stand, or you can get both features for about $80 more total. Now, this allows you to choose which features of the headset that you want, and not pay for features that you don't want or need. Now, what's interesting is the mono version is only available in one choice. You cannot get it with active noise cancellation and you cannot get it with the charging stand, which means that you'll have to recharge the headset with the included USB-C cable, which by the way, you can use that USB-C cable as a full wired headset. So if you run the battery out, like I often do, forget to recharge my headset, you can use it as a full wired headset. Simply just plug in the USB-C cable to the headset and the computer and you're good to go. Now, both models are available in either a UC or Microsoft Teams version. And we did a full in-depth review video of the differences. Check it out up there on the card or in the video description below. The simple difference is that if you use Microsoft Teams for most of your communication or your IT department doesn't allow downloads, then you'll wanna go with the Microsoft Teams version as it has software pre-installed on the headset to work the best with Microsoft Teams. The UC version will work just fine. You're just not gonna get some features like answer and end calls, launch the Teams application, or mute or unmute your video meetings on Microsoft Teams. What's interesting is other brands typically allow you to choose between a USB-A or USB-C version, but Epos went with only one option available, which includes the USB-A Bluetooth adapter. So if your computer only has USB-C ports, you may need to get a converter and we have them available on our website, Headset Advisor Store. You can check it out over there or in the video description below. But what's also interesting is that the charging stand is only charged via USB-C and the cable to recharge the headset or use it as a uh, wired headset is USB-C on one end and USB-C on the other end. So hopefully your computer has both USB-A and USB-C ports. I describe the headset as simple yet elegant. It looks like a standard headset, but it also has some design enhancements like this extruded line on the sides of the headband that also match the microphone boom and the charging stand, which just kind of brings a new design element to it, which I think looks pretty cool. Now, one other major design improvement they made on this headset is the wireless charger that I mentioned earlier. It has this wireless charging band at the top of the headband, but what that does is that actually separates the cushion on the top of the headband to two different parts. And it kind of feels funny when you first wear it. And some people internally kind of found it uncomfortable. But after I was wearing the headset for a few hours, I didn't even notice the gap in the middle of the cushion of the top of the headband and found it comfortable after a few hours of use. The ear cushions are donut shaped and they're leatherette ear cushions that are made from a soft memory foam type material. They're not the softest ear cushions of other headsets I've tested, but they're still extremely soft and comfortable. The headset weighs about six ounces, making it relatively comparable to other headsets in its class. And when wearing the headset, there wasn't too much clamping force. A lot of headsets will feel pressure when you put the headsets on as it's clamping onto your ears and can 
be uncomfortable, but I didn't experience that with the EPOS. It was very uh, light to the touch, so to speak, making it very comfortable when I was wearing it for extended periods of time. I wasn't wanting to take it off my head quickly. Now, also the speakers are able to rotate 180 degrees, which means you can set the headset down on the desk on either side, which I appreciate. And also the microphone boom can be worn on the right ear or the left ear. The Impact 1000 has triple connectivity, and I've never seen this before on a business grade headset. And what that means is that it comes included with a USB Bluetooth adapter, which is prepared. And that's for connecting to a laptop or computer, and that could be Windows or Mac computer. But then it has the ability to connect to two other Bluetooth devices. So that could be two smartphones. So for example, if you have a work phone and a personal phone, you can connect your computer and both your smartphones to one headset set. Otherwise, maybe you have a Bluetooth enabled desk phone, a computer, and also a smartphone. That could be what that application is used for as well. And I'm sure the possibilities are endless depending upon your situation. Getting set up to three devices is very simple. You'll plug in the USB adapter to the computer, turn on the headset and it's automatically prepared. Then when you wanna connect up to your smartphone, what you'll do is you'll turn the headset off, then you'll turn it on and slide it up to the Bluetooth icon for about three to five seconds until it gets into pairing mode. Then you're going to select the Impact 1060 or whichever model you have from your Bluetooth menu. Then you'll repeat the process for the third device. All right, now the way the audio works is whichever device you start trying to play audio on is going to prioritize that audio. So for example, if you're on your computer listening to a YouTube video, then you switch over to your smartphone and start playing music from your smartphone. It's going to either mute or pause the YouTube video on the computer, then play the audio on your smartphone. And then if you go to the third device and start playing audio from that, it's going to pause the second device and play the audio on the third device. So it can be kind of confusing to try to figure out which device is actually playing your audio in order to pause. What's also cool is as long as there's a supported device like a iPhone or smartphone or a uh, software on the computer that's supported like Cisco Jabber, you can answer the call from any three of those devices, which is cool. Now, one thing I found interesting is the speed of the Bluetooth connections. When you switch audio from your smartphone to another smartphone, it was really fast without, uh, with about a second. Now, when you switch audio from the smartphone to the computer, that's where it took about seven seconds for the audio to switch. Sometimes I thought the headset wasn't working as it wasn't switching the audio like I had thought, but I waited about seven seconds and then sure enough, the audio came over. Now let's test out switching from the smartphone to the computer. When you hear music, that's the smartphone. When you hear office noises, that is the computer audio. So we go ahead and play there. Now we're rocking out to some music. And then we're gonna go ahead and play the uh, office noises. And then we have to pause the music on the smartphone. Just waiting for the audio to switch. And then there you go. Now you have the office noises. Let's go ahead and switch back. And then it will automatically switch the smartphone very quickly. There are three buttons on the model of headset that we have, which is the 1061T, but there are four buttons on the one that has active noise cancellation. Our model does not. Now there is the power on and also Bluetooth pairing button. You have the multi-function button, which can adjust the volume up, down, and it can even pause play music as well as mute or unmute the microphone. Then there's also the answer and end call button on the side of the headset. And there's also the lift the microphone up to mute feature on the headset. Now the performance of the speakers is fairly good. It gets really loud if you don't have the sound limiters on as there's some safety protocols that it is able to enable if you want that. But the sound quality has really good volume. You have good mids and highs. You lack a bit on bass, but overall music is a decent listening experience. And of course, phone calls and meetings, you're gonna be able to hear people uh, very loudly and clearly. Now, a feature Feature a lot of our customers like is a feature called side tone and this plays a little bit of your own voice back through your speaker so you can talk at a more natural level. Now on the ePost Connect software which you can download for free and we'll link in the video
video description below. It has an adjustment bar from 0% to 100% that allows you to adjust the side tone of this headset, which when at 100%, it actually produces quite a bit of side tone, which a lot of people who like side tone, I'm sure will enjoy on this headset. Now, Epos markets the Impact 1000 as being good for the open office environment, and they also market a term called Brain Adapt, which took me a while to kind of figure out what that is and what it means. They link to a study that shows how the Impact 1000 was able to make more people productive due to not having as many distractions. So if you're less distracted, you can be happier and more productive as an employee, which I completely agree with. But what I was confused at is what on technology on the headset actually provides that, which I think they just refer to the active noise cancellation feature and also noise canceling microphone, which is going to cause less distractions and more productive conversations making people more productive, but I just don't know if there's anything proprietary on EPOS headsets that other headset brands don't also do to block out those same noises to have the same productivity. So let's talk about super wideband audio. Most Bluetooth headsets these days sound pretty good for music. But as soon as you open up the microphone, either to do a phone call or do a recording, the music turns to trash. And the reason for this is because there's a certain audio codec standard they use for listening to music and maximizes your music sound quality. There's a certain bandwidth dedicated for that. But as soon as you open up that microphone, then it switches to a different audio codec, which prioritizes your voice so you sound better and also helps with the noise cancellation technology but that means that it sacrifices the audio quality for music on that codec. Now the EPOS Impact 1000 does the same thing, except when switching to when the microphone is on, it uses a technology they call super wideband audio, which is gonna have a lot better audio quality while the microphone is open. Now, when I was testing out the headset, I was listening to music, and then I went to go ahead and record something for the microphone, and I typically noticed the music switches to bad audio quality, but with the EPOS Impact, I hardly noticed a difference which actually caught my attention. So have a listen to this technology for yourself. So what did you think? Did the audio quality on the EPOS Impact 1000 hold up when the microphone turned on? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Not only does the super wideband audio mode make the speakers sound better, especially when the microphone is on, but it also helps to have a better microphone performance. So have a listen to how well the noise canceling and microphone performance sounds on this headset. All right, as a baseline audio test, we have the AirPods third generation. This is what it sounds like in a quiet environment. This is the Impact 1000 in a quiet environment, and this is what it sounds like. And this is what AirPods sound like in an office environment. And this is what the EPOS Impact 1000 sounds like with office noises going on in the background. And this is AirPods with barking dogs in the background. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like on the EPOS with barking dogs going on in the background. And this is AirPods with crying babies in the background. This is what it sounds like. And this is the Impact 1000 with crying babies going on in the background. This is what it sounds like. And this is what AirPods sounds like with typing going on in the background. This is what it's going to sound like. All right, now this is what it sounds like with typing with the ePost Impact 1000 going on in the background. And this is a blender with AirPods, and this is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like on the ePost with a blender roaring in the background. Now, what did you think of the microphone performance of the ePost Impact 1000? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. 
There's a lot to be desired with the Epos Impact 1000. I'm quite impressed that they made a solid Bluetooth wireless headset that is designed to work in an open office type environment, but also could be used as a remote worker or somebody working from home. And what I like about the headset is that it has two unique features that aren't seen on any other business grade headset as of right now. You have the super wideband audio and you also have that triple connectivity. Plus they have the unique design of the wireless charging stand that I really appreciate that I think just looks cool and is very convenient. Overall, Epos did a great job on this headset and it's definitely worth considering. We do have it available on our website for a discounted price. Go to headsetadvisor.com and make sure you use coupon code YouTube for even bigger savings. We'll also have a link in the video description below, or you can reach out to our team, call, email, or live chat. If you'd like to learn more about the ePost Adapt Series line, check out this video that we compared all of those headsets right up here. They have more active noise cancellation, will sound better for music, but it's going to be missing that super wideband audio and not as good of a noise canceling microphone. So check that video up there. There. That's all I got for you on this video. We'll see you on the next one.